update the news item on the website, post the crime alert to the police department's Facebook page, work on the budget overview, and film displays connection. Wait, film displays connection? That's right now. There's my crew. Should we go ahead and get started? All right, sounds good. Hi everyone, I am Jenny Vanna, the new Media Services Director for the City of Des Plaines. I am so excited to be here at the City to work in partnership with the City Council, City Manager, and all of our departments to enhance communications and transparency. We're going to leverage all of our tools in the toolbox website, Channel 17, social media, working with our local newspapers in order to do that. The goal? to inform residents about decisions that impact you and our services and programs. We want to provide information and tips to keep you healthy and safe. We also want to engage in conversations and answer your questions. And most importantly, we want to build your trust. One way we're going to do that is through this program, Displains Connection, where we will connect you with the officials here at City Hall, our employees, and our community members. So let's go ahead and get started, and we're going to meet my new friend and the city's new police chief, Dave Anderson. here in the city's emergency operations center in the downstairs of city hall and joining me is police chief dave anderson thank you so much for taking the time to be here today jenny it's my pleasure to be down here with you so you're new to the city as i am um, you joined in at the end of 2020 so tell us a little bit you know more about that decision to come here and, and why you made that decision Prior to coming to the city of Des Plaines, I've spent 29 years in law enforcement. I was with uh, another agency for 28 years, and then I went for a short year to the, uh, a university as a police chief. And after what happened in June, you know, the whole country got turned on its ear with law enforcement, all the things that happened with George Floyd's death. I felt it was very important for me to get back into municipal policing, and Des Plaines is the place that I wanted to do that. Well, we're so glad that you did. So, you know, tell everybody a little bit more about Dave Anderson and, you know, what makes you tick and uh, more about the things that you enjoy to do, your family. Sure, I'm married, I have two adult children uh, who are wonderful and, you know, it's, they're very supportive of law enforcement and my career. So they're very happy to have me here at Des Plaines. Prior to coming here, I'm also a veteran of the Illinois and the Utah National Guard. Prior to getting into military and uh, into police work and part of the time that I was in police work. And so I have a strong uh, care about service for the community. I've uh, been pretty much in public service since I was 17 years old. It's a passion that is carried throughout my entire adult life. So what have you learned about the city, the community, the departments uh, since you've been on board? So first, I've had a difficult time connecting with community members because of this terrible COVID thing. That's why we are standing, you know, six feet apart. Uh, and the community members that I have had contact with through Zoom meetings, through just one-on-one -on -one interactions have been absolutely fantastic. I have been so impressed with uh, the community members' support of the police department, support of the city and our goal to create a safe environment for anyone that lives in Des Plaines or visits Des Plaines or is a, is a business member in Des Plaines. Excellent. I know we've had some conversations, quite a few conversations around communications and transparency. You know, share your philosophy on not just community policing, but on that communications piece as well. I think the police have the responsibility, especially in this time, to reach beyond normal communication to go deeper beyond that. And I'm looking forward to working with the other officers here in Des Plaines to reach deeper within the community, to listen, to find out that what the needs of the community are, especially with not only just controversial things, but general safety, general concerns that everyone has. So we are looking to connect with the community to meet those needs and 
then we can discover together what policing is going to be like in the future in Des Plaines. And I, I've talked a lot with the officers that have, and I've been so impressed with the professionalism, the training level, the skill set that is in this department. And we are all, as members of the department, looking forward to building those connections and really allowing the community to help us serve them better. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today. We really appreciate it. I know we're going to have lots more conversations about this, and you're going to be using the channel and all of our tools in our communications toolbox to be able to, to talk to the public and have those conversations. I am, and I know that our officers are looking forward to using these channels too, so that everyone doesn't just know the chief, they get to know all the officers too. That sounds great. Thanks, Chief. Thank you. Thanks for watching our first edition of Displains Connection. Don't forget you can find us anytime at displains.org. You can also find us on Facebook, both the police department and the city. See you next time.